welcome in this new very warm vlog. So I'm going to share what I've been working on this past two weeks actually, but I've already only filmed this week, which were the two hairs and tortoises inspired by La Fontaine Fable after Aesop's Fable. I'm going to go come back on all that. So you're going to see uh, what I've been working on. And we had just an amazing heat wave in Europe. Maybe uh, if you are not in Europe, maybe you have not known that, but it was crazy. We didn't have uh, such a warm heat wave for a long, long time. We call that canicule in French and it's uh, yes, it's just unseen. Um, in my city, there was an average of 40 degrees Celsius. I don't know exactly how much it is in Fahrenheit, but it's just unbearable. And in, I think on Friday, uh, the south of France, they had 45 degrees Celsius, which is unseen. We never, never experienced the, such a, a high temperature. We don't have um, air conditioning in Europe for most countries, maybe Spain and a bit of Italy, they have a bit of that. Um, I'm not, I don't know exactly, but in private homes in the rest of Europe, it's not really, it's not really classic and normal to have air conditioning. It's something you have in shops, in hotels, things like that. Uh, the temperature in the home never went lower than 28, 29 degrees. So to sleep in that is just not very really fun, but hopefully this week we are going back a bit to normal with normal cool nights, which makes such a big difference. And the cat is going to enjoy it. She just hated that. She was just so sluggish and not happy. So I've been working on the tortoise and the hair. La Fontaine, the Jean de La Fontaine, who is the writer I'm, I'm taking inspiration from, has been inspired by Aesop. You know him probably really more if you live outside France, because in France we only know La Fontaine, we don't really know Aesop. And the reason is La Fontaine has rewritten everything really well in just like poems. It's all in verses, it's very elegant, very beautiful, extremely well written. And he also has added many things which were not in the original, of course. And that's what I really like about him. He just added his own touch. He, he took, of course, the, the story, like the, the hair he's going to lose and the tortoise is going to win, but he puts it in a very, very elegant and beautiful way. And I thought it's very interesting to do the comparison. So in French, we have the French La Fontaine's version of Aesop's Fable, which are different. There are a lot of differences. And the, the saying you have in, in the English speaking world after Aesop's Fable is slow and steady wins the race. So we don't have that in French. We have another one. I'm going to give you the English, English translation of it, which is Rien ne sert de courir, il faut partir à point. 
which was translated here with to win a race the swiftness of a dart of eight knot without a timely start. So it's really focusing on starting and I really love that too. They are both interesting, both more the more is the same, but the slight the philosophy is slightly slightly different. And I really love that. It's not it's just, just about starting too. You can't you can't you can't finish your race if you didn't start it in the first place. So I really love that. Um, there are a lot of other differences that I took inspiration from. In La Fontaine's fable you have uh, the end where the tortoise explains to the, the hare, which you have I think also in the Aesop story fable, which is just a basic, basic story with, with few lines and um, uh, La Fontaine created uh, something a little more detailed in his uh, own fable. But the total says to the hare, de, de quoi vous sert votre vitesse, moi l'emporter, et que serait si vous portiez une maison? You beat, and yet you must allow I bore my house upon my back. So it's the reason I did a sort of French house castle upon the, the total's back. So just to explain why I did this house, because it was mentioned in La Fontaine, Jean La Fontaine's text. So I hope it's going to inspire you to go back to this story, these fables, and maybe find inspiration for your daily life. That's really what I love about them. Whether you choose the La Fontaine, which is more sophisticated, or the Aesop's one, which are more simple. Thank you very much for watching this very warm vlog. So I will have my two hairs, the one sitting on the tortoise and the other one with his tortoise too. They are both going to arrive in my Etsy shop on Tuesday 9pm, this Tuesday July 2nd. It's usually always around 9pm that they are added to the shop. So um, if you're interested you will find them on Tuesday. I will have other videos coming. I have other videos coming in my artist life series. You may have seen maybe my morning rituals. I filmed this one just a bit earlier this month. I had another one about how I get my inspiration. 
and I've, I'm going to have other ones coming in July. So you're going to see that. I have a favorite video coming too, which is my June and May founds, the sort of thing I found um, in old bookshop, in brocante, all that. So I'm going to show that in the next days. For now, I leave you here. Thank you very much for your kindness, your support. If you are going vacation and holidays, I wish you nice holidays. I will leave you here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next videos and to give a thumbs up if you want to support me. I will see you very soon.